Well, thanks for joining us today. We're looking at the VI7000 from Soundcraft, which is kind of like a VI3000, but mm. much bigger, and the sockets are somewhere else. Yeah, it's bigger, better, and remoter. Um, so and more. Yeah, so you can't see it back here, but this is where the uh, analog I.O. would have been on a 3000, and now it's all down there in the racks. Yes. Yeah, so uh, remote racks, 64 in, 32 out, and then with all of the connectivity, depending on cards. Yeah, look, the thing about the, um, the 5000 and the 7000, basically the difference between those is the size mm. of the surface, mm. um, is that it's all very modular, whereas, mm. you know, the 3000, you could change the input cards, I think, in banks of 16. 16 yeah. um, this one, it's all the, all the IOs external, so you can choose what cards you want to go mm. into the engine. You can choose what stage racks you want, and mm. so on. Um, you know, you can link it with with fiber. So it's it is very much the next step up. Yeah. In that sort of scalability, I suppose. Mm. Um, Good, good I.O. options. We've got things like CobraNet if you're into that. <laughs> uh, or if you're sort of born this century, we can use things like Dante. Mm. Um, and if you're doing that, for instance, and you're tied into like your LXD radio mics, you can get uh, you know, your RF battery information and that kind of thing going on in your channel strip. Yeah, which is great. Which is great. Th this is the first. Yeah, you know, we've never seen that. I think that's that's what speaks to the big difference with this and the and the three thousand is that you're talking about the three thousand. You were talking about like an analog replacement or an analog compatible unit, and this you're talking about some uh, a, a, say a production company or venue that's already yeah. networked converted and yeah, they're used I to think, running networks. I think that's a really good point. Actually, mm. I think the VI three thousand is a great drop in replacement yeah. for your analog. Um, Whereas this is something you spec if you are speccing a digital console. Yeah, and to get the, the and to get the most out of it, you do have to have that existing like sort of fiber infrastructure or ULXD or you know uh, Dante enabled microphones because mm. that's the real difference between it. I mean, it's got the same great Vistonics interface. It's got the same lexicon effects processing. It's got an increased bus counts 32 that can be mono or stereo as opposed to 24, and it's got 128 inputs. But you need to be in that infrastructure world to really get the value. I think. Yeah, and I, I now. There's not a lot of audio going on in the way of the surface. There's basically a stereo PFL bus and a talkback line mm. and, and a control line. There's four cables that go from this mm. into the mix rack. Mm. Um, tell us about the surfaces, Jase. There's a couple of different options. Yeah, okay. You, you basically get a different amount of screens and a different amount of faders. So on the flagship 7000, which we're leaning on right now, you get 40 plus four faders and you get five screens. Uh, one step down, you get 32 plus four faders and four screens. But you've still got the same bus structure. You've still got the same effects capability. And, and you've you still, still got interact with it the same way. Yeah, right? it's exactly that's the, the same. thing about it. The, prom the promoter gets back, well, okay, probably one seat. And I, I don't think that's a, a really big difference. Though you do make a point that this is actually a fairly sizable console that is reassuringly heavy. And in these days where they're trying to cut down on real estate at front of house, this is actually... I think this makes a statement. Yeah, it makes a statement that the audio is important on this show. As important as the lighting. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, it's actually bigger than a lighting console, and, hmm. and that's important. Yes, it's um, always important. Well, look, I, I think this is I think this is a very nice console indeed, and mm. I, I like where they've gone with this. I like the modularity of it, mm. Um, mm. and I love I love the interface and and still how it sounds. Yeah, look, I mean that's the one thing that's consistent through the range, and that's why we love the three thousand. That's why we love the. It's 7, got Studer written on it in a few places for a reason. Indeed, I suspect. it has. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's the VI seven thousand from Soundcraft. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching Gearbox. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. We'll see you next time.